Hey everyone, it's Heidi again and welcome back to this week's episode of Baby Name Sunday. I hope you guys are all doing absolutely amazing and today I am doing a big list of invented baby names, both a mix of my names and your names that you guys submitted over the past few days. Today I'm going to do the girls list and then in a few days from now I will upload the boys list. So you'll be getting two lists of made up names but make sure you guys are subscribed if you guys are new here. Make sure you guys are hitting the bell notification down below so you guys don't miss any of my baby names list. Normally upload on Sundays and then go over onto Instagram and go follow me on there at baby name Sunday. I'll have it right here. I have a ton of baby name content on there. You can ask me some questions and I also have a bunch of new name posts on there that I post every other day. So definitely go check it out, but let's get into this video before it gets too long. All right, so our very first name that was sent in today is absolutely stunning and I thought it was absolutely perfect to start the list off and that is the name is Silva Lee. So it's spelled S-I-L-V-A-L-I-E. When I first saw this one, I thought it had such a pretty ring to it, like Silva Lee. Like it sounds just so elegant and very beautiful, but it actually has two kind of nature ties because it reminds me of the name Sylvia and also the name Valley. So obviously Valley is very nature themed, but Sylvia, the meaning behind it is spirit of the woods or forest. So I thought that both together, this creates such an amazing name and the meanings behind them really combined makes a really cool unique nature name that I thought you guys would absolutely love and then next name I have is a made-up name by myself made up of two of my guilty pleasure names and that is the name Ava Loon so it's spelled A-V-A-L-U-N-E I thought that this was just such a dreamy combination especially because Ava is such a sought-after name and same with the name Luna but I feel like Luna is always overlooked but I thought that Ava Loon it just had that beautiful ring to it and then with the meanings behind them it just is even more wowing to me because Ava means life and then Loon means moon in French so it's like life under the moon as a meaning and I just fell in love with that and I'm like oh my gosh I did so well I thought it was just so cute and then moving on to a next name that I have that was sent in and that is the name Norvi so it's spelled N O R V E E. I thought that this one was so sweet, super adorable, and it kind of right away reminded me of the name North and Evie put together, Norvi. But she actually got it from the name Nori, N O R I, and she just kind of switched up the letters a bit. But oh my word, I think it's so sweet for a little baby. I feel like a lot of parents are also looking for those cutesy two syllable names, and this one falls so well into that category. Maybe to to go along with like an Ezra or Liam, Levi, Nova. Those names all fall into that same category and Norvi totally can fall right in there as well. And then next I have is the name Haydens. So spelled H-A-Y-D-E-N-C-E. -E. So yes, right away you hear the name Hayden and Cadence. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing because how hard is it? Let me know, how hard is it to find some really unique H names that you haven't heard of. And now here's another one that you can add to that H list. So Hayden means fire and is English originated. And the name Cadence is a musically inspired name, means like inflection of voice. So it's almost like fiery voice in a way if you combine both names together. So maybe if your family is all about music, are music lovers, this is such an amazing invented name for you guys that definitely should be an option. And then next name I have is a very elegant and vintage name. And that is the name Mariadne. So it's called M-A-R-I-A-D-N-E. And this one combines the classic name Mary, which means beloved, and the name Ariadne, which is actually a Greek originated name meaning most holy. So this one, Mariadne, it has definitely a very vintage, almost magical sound to it. A lot of old fashioned history roots with the two names behind it as well. So I thought this one was a really great name to honor maybe a Mary in your family but something still vintage sounding, but it's a little bit more modern. And the next name is the name Kitsia. So it's like K-I-T-C-I-A. This one was wowing to me. I looked at it and I was like, wow, this is so beautiful. I asked her, and this is actually comes from her mom, 
mom's aunt like way back. It has a couple different meanings in their language. It is Arabic meaning princess of the desert. It's Egyptian meaning morning star and it means queen of the cats. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is so cool. You can literally nickname her cat. There's kitten there, which is also a really fun, different name. And then the next name that was sent in is the name Alayli. So it's spelled A-L-A-I-L-E-I-G-H. It's a combination almost of the name Alea and Lee. So Alea is a Basque name meaning joyful and happy. And Lee means pasture or meadow and is English originated. So I thought that joyful, happy, meadow, like it just sounds like a little girl who would just be running carefree in a meadow, like a little flower child. That's just what this name makes me feel when I hear it, a Lely. And it also has that E-I-G-H at the end or Lee at the end, which is also a very sought after ending for a lot of girls' names right now. So I thought that a Lely would be absolutely perfect in that category as well. And then next name we have is the name Lara Wynn. So it's L-A-R-A-W-Y-N. This one has automatic cute brownie points just with that win ending. So in Breaking up this name, Lara is actually a Greek originated name, meaning cheerful and happy. And it was actually the name of a Roman mythological nymph. And then Wynne is a Welsh name, meaning fair and blessed. So it definitely has a whimsical and mythological feel to the name, even with the meaning combined. I feel like it has a lot of really great symbolic qualities. You have blessed, cheerful, happy, but you also have this magical, whimsical nymph meaning behind it as well. And then the next name I have for you guys here is definitely an amazing variation for a name that is definitely on the rise. And this is the name Juniper. So it's spelled J-U-N-I-F-E-R. So she actually combined the name June and Jennifer to make Juniper, but guys, this one totally sounds like the name Juniper, like the Juniper Berry, the nature name. Oh my word, this is so sweet. You can still have the nickname June. You can still have the nickname Junie, and it's a little bit different. Juniper, Juniper. It's really that P and the F. I thought that this one was such a great option if you're looking for something along the lines of Juniper, or if you're really looking for that nickname June or Junie, and you can't really find something that's more longer to fit. It. This one, Juniper, is so perfect. And then another really beautiful, almost romantic-y sounding name is the name Ayane. So it's spelled A-I-Y-A-N-E with a little accent. This one, Ayane, like this one just sounds so romantic, very gorgeous and very feminine. And for this one, she actually just switched up the ending of the name Ayana, which means ever blooming and everlasting flower and just put Ayane. And I thought that that just adds a very elegant sound and ending to it, but you're still getting that ever blooming and everlasting flower of a meaning. So definitely making it a very exotic sounding, almost flower girl name, but it has that beautiful ending sound, Ayane. Like it just rolls off my tongue, if you know what I mean. And then my next one I have here is a made up name by myself. And this one here, I actually mentioned it on my Instagram a little while ago, but this one is just so pretty because I love the name Zen for a boy, Z-E-N. I think it's so cool, even for a girl, but I wanted to make it a little bit more feminine. So I came up with the name Zenvia. So spelled Z-E-N-V-I-A. And literally this name, I was just like, oh my word, because Zen means obviously peace and Via means kind of like on the way. So it's almost meaning traveling peace in a way or peace is on the way. I feel like that's just so meaningful and it could be really meaningful for a lot of different families again out there and meanings are sometimes everything for someone. So I thought this one was so pretty. And then another one that I had on this list that actually three girls sent in, three. One of them mentioned it for a boy and then two others mentioned it for a girl. And I just added it to this list, but it's definitely unisex and that is the name Caspin. So it's like K-A-S-P-Y-N or you can do K-A-S-P-E-N 
with a C. There is so many different ways here, but this one's definitely like a mountainous nature vibe because it's a mix of the name Jasper and Aspen. And Jasper here in Canada is like one of like the places in the mountains to go take pictures and it's just a stunning picturesque scene. And then Aspen is obviously a city place name down in Colorado, I feel like it is. Aspen, Colorado, I really hope I'm right there. But again, a mountainous state. So I feel like these are two place names, mountainous place names with just a serene feel to them. Jasper and Aspen are again, really amazing, just sought after names. And I thought this one was so sweet, Caspin. Like how cool is that? It also has a feel of like Caspian, like the Caspian Sea. <gasps> Ooh, I am really just loving this as I go. And it makes sense because three other ladies sent it in. So definitely thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you guys. And then this next one also has just a, such a stunning ring to it. God, you guys did so well. And that is the name Delarue. So it's spelled D-E-L-L-A-R-U-E. I was just floored. I thought that this one was so cool. It's like a mix of vintage Della and Rue, which is a really sweet kind of more modern name mixing them together Della Rue like again such great flow and she actually created this name just by Della Ray but wanted it a little bit different she loves the name Rue so Della Rue and I just I'm with you on this one. And for the meaning behind the name, Della is German originated, meaning noble. And Rue, R-U-E, if you spell it that way, is literally a French word meaning road. So just all together, it just sounds like a really pretty and very nicely flowed name. And then another really kind of more futuristic modern name, she is always sending me a bunch of more cooler modern names because she loves the Z's and the X's and the Y's in the names. And that is the name Nazalie. So it's spelled N-A-H-Z-A-L-E-E. -E. This one is another one with that L-E-E -E or L-E-I-G-H ending that you can have. Parents right now are really loving those E-Y or double E endings for girl names. So this is a really very cute name, but it has a little exotic feel with the Z in it, Nazalie. It again, rings so nicely, but this this one actually has some Muslim roots, meaning purity, honesty, and righteousness. So great meanings and qualities behind the name. And then the next name that I have here is the name Orlia. So it's spelled O-R-L-I-A. This one's actually a combination of the name Orla, which means golden princess in Celtic roots, and the name Amelia, which is one of her favorite names. So she created Orlia. And I'm actually surprised that this one isn't really out there. It's very similar to the name Olivia, but with a little bit of a tinge difference, Orlia, Olivia. I think that that could be definite option there, but I felt that the syllables, because it's Orlia, like three syllables for a shorter name, I think that's kind of what drew me to the name as well. And L-I-A ending names just sound so pretty and majestic to me, so I really loved this one. And then the next one I have for you is actually a made up name by myself again, and that is the name Florawyn. So spell F-L-O-R-A-W-Y-N, another one of those W-Y-N endings, but this one has Flora in the beginning, which is actually a goddess's name, the Roman goddess of springtime. And the nicknames here, again, you have Flora or Floor, or you can have Win. I just thought adding that Win ending on just makes it sound so pretty and beautiful to me. And then our next one has kind of a medieval background to it. It kind of reminds me of my whimsical baby list, like this one would totally be on it. And that is the name Zeldina or Zeldena, depending on how you want to pronounce it. It's spelled Z-E-L-D-E-N-A. You can totally hear the Zelda in it, which I love that name. And it just reminds me of like Nintendo, you know, the Zelda adventures, like a character's name. So I really like that about it. Plus the name Zelda is German originated, meaning dark battle, or it also is Yiddish meaning blessed and happy. So it has kind of like a balance there, like dark battle, but blessed and happy. Just in general, it makes sense for the medieval aspect of it. And then this next name I have for you guys here is a name that she created from her very first name and combining it with her middle name. And that is the name Briora. So it's spelled B-R-I-O-R-I-A. I was floored when I saw this name. I thought it was so pretty. Honestly, I was floored when I was reading all these names and it was really hard to narrow it down. 
but Briora. Like, it has that Aura name in it, which is one of my favorite names. There's the nickname Brie if she wanted something classic, like Briora. Like, how pretty is that? Her first name is Brittany, and her middle name is Victoria. So two very classic names. You have Brittany and Victoria, and combined together, you have this futuristic name, Briora. And I thought it was just so gorgeous. The ring to it is beautiful. And then another one that has a really pretty combination again, and that is the name Rylabelle. So spelled R-Y-L-A-B-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. So this one's a mixture of either Riley or Ryla, and the name Annabelle, so Rylabelle. Like how freaking cool is that? I love the name Ryla, and I've had it on a list, and I love the name Riley, like I was just Oh, I was so excited when I saw this one. I thought it was so pretty, adding the bell onto the end. Like, holy, you did this one good. But the origins behind it, Riley is an Irish name meaning brave, and this one's a unisex name. And then Annabelle is actually a combination of two origins, French and Hebrew, meaning grace and beauty. So I really like this for meanings behind a woman, kind of powerful name. Uh, for a little girl, I think this is so perfect. And so many nicknames. There's Belle, there's Ryla, there's Rye. Like, how cool. You can have an edgy nickname, but you can also have a very like elegant and pretty nickname, Belle. I love how you kind of balance the two together. And then our next one we have here is a combination between two names again. And this is the name Lizia. So spelled L-I-Z-Z-I-A. And she actually combined the classic name Elizabeth and combined it by adding Lizzie to it. So it made Lizia. Her kind of thought process behind this one was a really great honorary name. So maybe if you had Elizabeth in the family or even like a Lizzie in the family and you didn't want to go straight for those and you wanted something a little bit more modern, Lizia would be so beautiful. You can still have that nickname Liz, just like pulling it from Elizabeth, and you're still honoring an Elizabeth in your family. So I feel like, again, this one was a really great modern honorary name to add to the list, Lizia. I think it's really pretty, not too crazily outside the box, but it still is unique, invented, and it has a meaning behind it. And then the next one that I have for you guys, actually a couple of you guys brought this one in, and that is the name Foxley. So it's called F-O-X-L-E-Y. I've actually seen this a lot. A lot of parents have been adding L-E-Y because it's a very easy addition name. Like you can add L-E-Y onto almost every single name out there and it creates a brand new name that's modern. They added it on to Fox, which is such a cool edgy name, but sometimes Fox, you might be like, oh, I'm so excited for it, but maybe you're having a girl and you're like, dang it, Fox is kind of more like, you know, it's definitely unisex, but if you're wanting something a little bit more feminine, the L-E-Y in some cases makes the name a little bit more feminine and adds that little touch to it that makes it a little bit more girly. And I really like this, Foxly, like how cute is that? Definitely uncommon. Common, and you can still nickname her Fox and I'm like all about that because I think that's so like badass like that's freaking cool and then moving on to another super cute one that has the name Ava in it which obviously everybody goes like goo goo gaga over and that is the name Ava Gray so I've actually heard this as Ava Gray like a first and a middle name but adding those two together is just like genius. Like A-V-A-G-R-A-E is the way that she spelt it. And I was like, wow, so feminine, so cute. And again, you have both Ava, so sought after, and you have Gray, G-R-A-E, very, very sought after for a middle name because it goes with a lot. I thought this one, you banged it out of the park and a really great addition, and I know a lot of you guys will love that one. And then another one that I have on the list here is the name Letlin, so spelled L-E-T-L-Y-N. It reminds me of the name Lakin, but a little bit more on the feminine side. And then this is another YN ending name that I'm like, oh my goodness, I love it. I love YN ending names right now. I think they're so cool. But the name Lynn means pretty, and it also means lake, and it's Spanish, Portuguese, and Italian originated. The LYN ending, it's just like the L-E-Y. You can add it on to a lot of names, a lot of common first names out there, and just create a whole brand new name. So definitely go try it out. Add L-E-Y or L-Y-N onto some of your favorite guilty pleasure names that you're a little afraid of using. 
see what you come up with. Let me know in the comments below. But another one that was definitely taken it back, definitely a little bit more vintage, and that is the name Grizalia. So G-R-A-Z-A-L-E-A. -A -A. I already hear the floral name Azalea in it, but it also has some vintage roots if you listen. It has like Griselda at the beginning. So Griselda and Azalea mixed together. I thought this was really cool. Vintage floral vibes. And the symbolism of an azalea flower, they're like pink flowers, and it's femininity, which is so hard for me to say, and softness. So I thought that was kind of sweet and delicate. And the name Griselda means gray maiden warrior. So it's like a flower goddess's name as well, like a made up one. So you literally just made up a flower goddess's name. And then the next one I have for you is, oh, I love this one as well. It's not too, too crazy, but I think it's really pretty and just a little bit of a difference for a more common name out there and that is the name Alila spelled E-L-I-L-A-H. So this is like a combination of L or Ella and the name Lila, which means lilac tree. So together, it literally means girl, L, which is French originated, girl of the lilac trees. I thought this one was so pretty for a little flower, you know, alternative again, Grizalia, Alila. Like how pretty are both of those together for like sibling names? All right, so I'm down to my final three names on the list but I just wanted to say I am super sorry if I didn't get to your names that you guys sent in I read them all I read all your emails and DMs it's just there would have been just way too many names on the list, but I do have the boys list that will be going out later on this week. So it's almost like a little bit of a bonus video for you guys. I will just have the boys only on there, which you guys actually didn't send in too many boys names. So if you do have any boys invented names, DM me on Instagram or send me an email. Don't leave them in the comments. So let's keep it a surprise. But last three names on the list here, one of the names is Evangeluna. E-V-A-N-G-E-L-U-N-A. -E so she combined the names Evangeline and Luna together. Very, very girly, I find. If you're wanting something a little bit more longer, Evangeluna. It also has that Luna ending on the end. This is a really great option to have Luna incorporated in the name. But what really stood out to me of this name is the meaning behind it. So obviously Luna means moon, but the name Evangeline is Greek originated, meaning messenger of God good news. So it's literally like good news sent to the moon or good news sent out to space, positivity sent out into the world or into the universe. And I was like, oh. so next one, second to last one on the list is actually a name that's taken from a place name. And this is the name Niobe. So it's spelled N-I-O-B-I. -I. So this one's obviously taken from the capital of Kenya, Nairobi. And the actual name Nairobi means cool water. So this one, Niobe, could be a good alternative, different option for an exotic and very cultural place name. It has a little bit of a meaning, cool water, and it has like ties nature and place. So maybe if you're a traveling family or travel is a really big part of your guys's life or maybe you've been to Kenya or Africa Niobe would be a perfect name for your little daughter I think it's so cute you can nickname her B and exotic nicknames like Nio and Io but last name on the list I decided to end off with a name that I created and I thought it was really cool this one I've actually mentioned it to one other girl over on Instagram she thought it was pretty cool too but that is the name Faye Matrix. So spelled F-E-Y-T-R-I-X. And this one I combined the names Freya and Beatrix. So two very more vintage style names, but combined together, it's so modern and very futuristic, like Featrix. Nickname her Trixie. You can still nickname her Faye. But behind the two names, Freya is an Old Norse name. It's a goddess of beauty, love, war, and death. And then Beatrix, which means she who brings happiness happiness and is blessed. So I thought that just combining those two together, it has a lot of great qualities, has some goddess feels to it as well. I just thought it was so pretty. Also it has fae in it, which literally means fairy. So I thought it just works with the meanings to 
together and has that X on the end that I thought was just so cool. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sending in all your amazingly crazy cool invented names. I absolutely loved reading all of them and I really hope you loved this list and maybe got some inspiration, but definitely comment down below what your favorite was. We will have the invented boy names list going up this week and then we will have another one going up on Sunday. So two more videos coming at you this week. Make sure you guys are staying safe and staying happy. Take care, we'll see you again, bye.